guys, it's me Ariel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on The Help by Catherine Stackett. The Help is a very historical book. It was set in Mississippi in the early 1960s and this is a time when the civil rights movement was in full swing. But back then, the states in the South, especially Mississippi, these places were like very hard for black people to live in. A lot of them faced racism or discrimination like on a daily basis. Though this story mentions the civil rights, it doesn't specifically focus everything on the civil rights movement itself. It's more about like finding your voice and standing up for yourself and doing what has to be done to make changes for a better future. We have three main protagonists in this story. All three of them are women and all these women are very brave and they have their own stories to tell. We have Skeeda. She is a young white woman and she doesn't agree with a lot of the rules and social customs of her society. And then we have Evelyn and Minnie. These two are best friends and they're both maids. They work for white families all day for nearly every day of the week. The storyline is actually quite simple. Skeeta, she's just graduated college and she wants to pursue a career in writing. So she decides to start by writing a book and she doesn't want to cover like the simple everyday topics. She wants to do something that is special that hasn't necessarily been done before that will get everyone's attention. She decides she wants to write a book of interviews on the domestic help and to get the perspective of maids who work in Jackson, Mississippi, which at the time was like one of the most dangerous places for black people to live. Back then, the stories of black maids and their experiences would have been a very touchy subject. It would have been considered awkward and improper for Skeeta to pursue this topic and publish a book about it. But Skeeta and the maids she found to help her, like Minnie and Evelyn, they all decided to take the risk. Even though it would have been very risky, especially for the black maids, they still wanted to take a chance and make their stories get heard, to stand up and fight for change. At first, for Skeeta, writing this book was more of a chance to get some more experiences in her later career, but when she was writing it and interviewing the maids, it was like she got more involved with their lives. She started to understand more and more about the society that she lived in. The inequalities and injustices that the black maids faced just because their skin was a different color from white people. Reading this book, it was really enlightening and also very inspiring. I was glad to be able to get a peek into the lives of people living in this time, especially to see the differences between lives of black people and white people. Their lifestyles were like completely different. The lives of black people living in the southern parts of the US were really hard and they also had to face a lot of racism and discrimination from the white people. For me, it was really inspiring to see these people, especially the black maids, to see them have the faith and the trust to put their own stories into a white person's hands, to take a fighting chance and try to make change possible. And Skeeta, she was also quite a remarkable person. She was raised in a white community and she was able to overcome her upbringing and to see black people for who they really were, not just the color of their skin. Like when she was trying to write her book, she was shunned a lot by her friends and the townspeople, but she still wouldn't give up. She was able to see the bigger picture of things to understand that change could be possible. Even though the people around her thought she was crazy, she was weird for wanting change, she still persevered in doing the things she believed to be right. All in all, I think this has been a really interesting and enjoyable read. I would recommend this book to people who want to understand more about history, especially the civil rights era. Um, I think I probably babbled enough for one day. This will be the end of my book review on the help. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you like it, remember to press the like button below and subscribe to this channel. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!